Hi there, have you been missing Mimi's Cafe's famous honey bran muffins since they stopped making them several years ago? Well, here's my version and I'm gonna show you how to make them. You stay tuned. I have a half a cup of milk here and this is a little over a cup of crunched up raisin bran cereal. It's about six ounces if you wanna do it by weight. I, it was about two cups and then I mushed it down in, in a food processor and um, made it into, it's a, just a tiny bit over a cup but it weighs just about six ounces. So I'm gonna try and get this moistened up with this milk. And we're gonna let this sit while we finish the rest of the muffins. Now I have one cup of all-purpose flour, one half a teaspoon of salt, one half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one half of a teaspoon of baking soda. It's all going in there. Okay, now that gets set aside. Now I wanna make my glaze. If you haven't had these, they have this delicious glaze around the top and well, it's actually the bottom because they serve it to you upside down, but it's got this glaze. It's so delicious and it makes it, you know, part of what is the greatest brand muffins out there. That's why I can't believe they stopped selling them because they're so good. Okay, I have four tablespoons of melted butter. Three tablespoons of just regular sugar. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of honey. I got this honey at the farmer's market, but any honey will work. One tablespoon of just regular water, tap water. I'm gonna stir this until the sugar's mostly dissolved. Okay, I'm gonna skim that up for about a minute. Now, in our bigger bowl, we're gonna start with our wet ingredients. I have a quarter cup of just regular vegetable oil. Now a half a cup of honey. Did you know honey never goes bad? They found some in King Tut's tomb, like 3,000 years after King Tut was mummified, and the honey was still good. Just saying. Two tablespoons of molasses. If you don't have molasses, you could use dark corn syrup. One third of a cup of brown sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla. One tablespoon of grated orange zest. And one egg, room temperature. Okay, now I'm gonna add back in our brand cereal that's been mixed with the milk. Well, this is raisin bran cereal. If you want to use, you don't want the raisins in there, but Mimi's had raisins in it, so. But if you don't want the raisins in there, just get a regular bran cereal. Look how rich. All right. It's gonna be so good. Okay, now I'm just gonna put all of these dry ingredients right here, here to these wet ingredients. That looks like a nice bran muffin batter, right? I'm gonna spray the opening of these muffin cups. Just spray it real good to make sure that it's easy to get it out. Okay, now we want about a tablespoon of this mixture into each one of these little cups. Okay, now I just wanna sort of even it out around the bottom. Let me know if you've tried these at Mimi's in the comments section. Let me know. Um, it used to be one of my favorite places to go, especially for breakfast. I used to, when I used to eat meat, I would get the pot roast and eggs for breakfast. I always use a scoop. If you want to use a spoon, you know, feel free to do that. Okay, these are going to go into 350 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes. We'll see you back here when they're all done. Here they are, hot and fresh out of the oven. These are my version of Mimi's Cafe Honey Bran Muffins. They're gonna, I'm gonna let them cool off for just a couple of minutes. I don't want that goo that's in the bottom to settle too much. And then we're gonna flip these upside down. That's how they used to serve them. So let's see how this goes. They're still pretty hot. I'm gonna flip them out onto this tray that I've lined with wax paper. sure they all get out. <laughs> I'm
I'm going to leave them hanging on there for a couple seconds just so that they all that goo can redistribute and get all over those muffins instead of staying in my pan. Okay, that was actually less than a minute. I just kind of sneaked, sneaked, a, sneaked a peek. Snuck a peek. And they're ready. All the goo came out. Oh, these look exactly like the ones for me. This is... These look just like the ones. They're smaller. They they made them way bigger. And Mimi's always used to give you a little scoop of butter. So I'm just going to put a little scoop of butter. I'm going to put it right on top. All right, let's try Mary's version of Mimi's Cafe's Honey Brown Muffin. Would it be bragging if I say these are even better than Mimi's? This is the best bran muffin I've ever had. <laughs> try it. The... Ingredients list is in the description below. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you next time. Take care.